in this video, you are going to see two old fogies in their mid 80s who have spent the last five days, a whole day on Friday, thrifting with my daughter, a weekend in San Diego, eating a boatload of sushi and watching a play with a granddaughter in it, Monday out in the garden planting herbs, and today we had a visit with a new great-grandson and two darling little granddaughters. You'd be proud of us, but we're ready to hit the sack because we're done for the rest of the week. Gorgeous day in the garden in my palazzo pants. Let's bust another myth about aging, that older women cannot wear palazzo pants. Oh yes, we can, right, Mose? You betcha, Red Rider. <laughs> right. Well, I wanted to show you some of the beautiful things blooming in the garden this morning. I don't know what you can actually see with me sitting here, <laughs> but the Asiatic lilies are gorgeous. The red roses are beautiful. The petunias, the daisies. What else, Moose? Our iris are out. The iris is, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a gorgeous day. There's two or three things are getting ready to go. Yeah. You know, the um, dahlia. Yeah. How many kinds of dahlia do we have right now in the garden? I think five. Right. We have the big giant ones coming right over here with leaves that are this big, my friends, this yeah. big, but no buds yet. We have something down here, somewhere here, right here, and these are called ball dahlias, and they're uh, round like a ball, different colors, right here, and there are buds all over this. It's absolutely beautiful. Couple in the back. I mean, this garden looks like a typical English garden to me. I know it might be a little full and <laughs> clumpy for you, but for when me... When you see a picture of an English garden, it is confused looking and unplanned. It's not tulips all in a row. It's, it's very, very much like this. What is beautiful. It's so full. There's so many things coming out. Over there, I have the most gorgeous foxglove. When I manage to get up from here, and I hope I don't have to scream for Micah today. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I was sitting on my little step stool back here in the garden. I might have told you about this, but I was planting some mums and they were down low. So I brought in the little step stool, sat on it, finished all my planting, and then tried to get up. Mosey was sitting right where he is. And I tried, <laughs> and I tried. No, I wasn't here. I didn't know you were having a problem. I must have been in the house. No, you were right there and we said, well, why don't we just call Micah? We knew he was home, so we did. And in about five minutes, Micah came down and just came into my little garden and found me sitting in here all by myself. And <laughs> he got me up and off we went. We sure had a fun weekend, didn't we? This production that we went down to see over the weekend, we were there on Mother's Day, and um, they do such a wonderful job. There were 260 kids from kindergarten up to, I think, 18 was the cutoff. And uh, there were one or two older people. The, the name of the, um, uh, I wanna call it Dorothy in the Yellow Brick Road. What's the name of the play? Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz. It was, absolutely just fabulous. One of those plays that everybody knows all the songs. We're sort of singing along with them and uh, had a great time. Oh, but the, yeah. the videos that I loved and the pictures after this production, we went out to dinner with Mikey, Sabrina, and the three children. And they're big, big time sushi eaters. You wouldn't believe the kids and how they can eat sushi. So we went to one of their favorite sushi places. And I have pictures that are so hysterical. Mikey ordered 
So much sushi, and do you know what? That sushi that we had on Sunday was probably the best sushi I've ever had. Really? Yes. Yeah. Now get a kick out of these pictures. One in particular, it's sort of half a video, half a picture. And we were, it was a long table, and Moosey, Mikey, and I were sitting on one side, and on the other side, Dane and Lizzie and Megan and Sabrina were there. When the waitress brought this big wooden, they call it a boat, was filled with all kinds of sushi. And within, I would say, 30 seconds, the kids and Sabrina and Mikey, you were a little off, so you couldn't get your chopsticks in there. Everybody went in almost at the same time with their chopsticks, and I caught them. It's amazing to watch those kids, isn't it, eat sushi? Yeah. They all know the different types. Most of them love everything, especially Dang. Well, let me get up if I can. But aren't these, now these um, Palazzo pants that I have are probably five or six years old, and I think I've worn them before. But, you know, you read all these things, um, I don't know whether you'll be interested in this, Moosey, but I'm talking to my lady friends here about um, the things that older women, old women, <laughs> over 50, believe it or not, disregarding even women over 60, 70, and 80, but they say, oh, older women, don't wear palazzo pants. Don't wear wild colored things. Don't wear red lipstick. Oh, no, no, don't do that. I think that those myths definitely have to be busted. So maybe in this video, we'll bust one or two, at least these, right? Just saw a picture of some older women in what they called pedal pushers. Remember them? Yep. Pedal pushers. Now they were to here. Now the pedal pushers of today are a little bit longer, but they say pedal pushers are great for women to wear. Maybe not older women. Why not? <laughs> can't see why not. I love them. And they say, pedal pushers are great for showing off a great pair of shoes, you know, because they're a little bit above the ankle. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get up and show you some of these beautiful flowers. Tell my ladies about some of the comments that you got in San Diego as we were coming out of the play. He had this complete outfit on, by the way. This was given to me by Mikey on my 85th birthday. About two years ago, huh? Yeah. Got number 85 front, and my name in the back. Is on the back. And he had the Dodger hat on and the Dodger blue shirt here. And of course, in San Diego, everybody, they're big fans of who? <laughs> Padres, and the Padres beat us that day while we were in the play. <laughs> and a couple of guys came in with the Padre gear on. Oh yeah. And there was a fist fight, of course. You ought to see the other guy. Wow. <laughs> Mikey was pushing Moose's. He was in the wheelchair because it was a long way. And as we had to keep moving people and everything, that's when these men, even some women, would look at him and say, hey, we shouldn't let you through or whatever, making <laughs> funny comments. Of course, Moose loves that. I think he wore this outfit on purpose. Didn't I'm he? just looking for action. Yeah. <laughs> How long ago did Colleen give you this? My birthday. That's right. And I guess I feel a little weird holding <laughs> my flowers. Well, this sits outside. I've already been married. I've had my bouquet. Yes, right. But I wanted to show them this is the second bloom of flowers I'm on really... this. It's one of those ones that just sits in a wax. The bulb is in wax. She got it at Trader Joe's. His birthday was April 8th, so that's about almost six weeks ago. And it had a first bloom of six flowers. Gorgeous. Yeah. And it sits out here next to him. And it just keeps blooming. Beautiful, isn't it? Start off with some of these red roses. Aren't they beautiful? And they're all coming out. And in the back, can you see those? Those are my coral-colored roses. And I think I have one 
one, one down there, a couple of those, aren't they beautiful? Now this is called Asiatic Lily and there's three stalks and it's finally the first color. Is that beautiful? It looks like they're all going to be the same color most, but look at how many blooms we're gonna have. Mosey said I'm taking the water away from the birds here. I did buy over the weekend some more um, herbs. I bought some more pepper, green pepper plants, which I love and um, cilantro. Always need our cilantro for our tacos and everything, but I, I will be planting those probably today. And our first iris from Idaho, but the bad part about it is that it's the only one coming up with a couple of buds in this whole pot, and we don't know why. But here's a close-up of that beautiful, beautiful bougainvillea. I do want to show you this eggplant, that was a tiny little eggplant and there's already some purple flowers on there and those are the eggplants. Now last year I had the Japanese eggplant, which are more, they look more like a cucumber. This is the big fat one. I gave Margie one and hers is doing beautifully too. She wanted me to show you our foxglove. Isn't that beautiful? That's from last year. So it's a perennial. I didn't realize that about foxglove. I didn't even put it in a big tub. I sort of left it in its original pot. Of course, the geraniums are doing more than their share this year. They're gorgeous. My hydrangea. And I have another plant in the back full of buds ready to come out. Isn't that beautiful? And they both smell. Isn't that a gorgeous red? I love these over here. Look at those velvet looking dark velvet magenta, is that what color you call those? Aren't they beautiful? Well, it's now Wednesday and it's about 3.30 and we've just come home from a wonderful visit with Molly and her new baby. Now the baby boy, Austin, is now almost three, three and a half weeks old. And everything is so wonderful up there. They were thrilled to have their little boy and the girls are being very good mommies. Well, due to my little snafu this week of forgetting to bring my iPad to San Diego with me so I didn't get my Mother's Day video up on time, which I apologize for, I had it all ready to go and I forgot to bring the iPad. We left at 7 a.m. and I was supposed to just push that one little button to upload it and I forgot to, and we left for San Diego. So that's why I got that video up Monday and I apologize, but I didn't want to mess up the week. So I am did a little bit of, of filming in the garden yesterday. We didn't come back from San Diego till Monday. We had such a wonderful time. We enjoyed a nice stay at the hotel again and believe it or not, I did remember to bring my traveling companion in with me, my toile riser. So everything was hunky-dory and I haven't made the little bag yet that I'm going to make a fancy felt traveling bag, but I had it with me and I remembered something that my mother used to say years and years ago. You know the things that mothers teach children when they're little about strangers, stranger danger and you don't talk to strangers. Well, the same with toilet seats, by the way. You do not sit on strange toilet seat seats. So I did have my, my traveling companion with me. It was all good. But right now, I will be putting up some pictures of our little visit with Molly and the kids and little Austin. Now I must say, Moosey did get the most time with the baby. After Molly nursed him, we were all sitting in the living room and the girls were playing with the little toys that I had, had brought. And it was a Pippa Pig little dollhouse that we picked up at the thrift shop the day it was out, the prior Friday, I guess, with Dubby. It's been a busy time and I am ready for a rest, believe it or not. But um, Molly got some good video and some good pictures and Moosey actually lulled the baby to sleep after Molly nursed on his chest, singing a song. And I could see Kelly stopping what she was doing, listening to Moosey. Such a wonderful time with our darling little uh, uh, great-grandchildren. 
And those two little girls don't stop talking the whole time they're there. Of course, Moosey had to have a translator there the whole time because number one, he couldn't really hear what they were saying. And since they're only the two girls are two and four, <laughs> the speech was a little bit fast. They both talk fast all the time. What fun. Oh, Lily. Try to get the color. Yummy. Oh, gee whiz. <laughs> I like that one. What about that one? Mm. However, Moosey and I are ready to hit the sack once again. I'm sure we'll have a, a nice little nap right now. And I'm not cooking tonight. I don't know whether it's going to be Hot Pockets or what for Moosey and a salad for me, but... There's going to be no cooking in this house tonight. Oh, by the way, we brought the lunch. This time we were over there at 12. And Molly said it would be good to come for lunchtime. So I said, well, what would you like us to bring? I thought I could make something or what she said. And I think Molly, uh, having been pregnant for so long, trying to watch what she ate, she said, well, you could go through um, maybe McDonald's or oh, she said, I have it. Why don't you go through Dell? Well. Once she mentioned Del Taco, that was right down my alley. So she gave me her order and the little kids had uh, bean and cheese burritos and Molly had chicken quesadilla and tacos and Moosey and I had fish tacos. And I brought some of those nice cinnamon sugar churros and we had a great lunch with the kids. I also made chocolate chip cookies and brought some of those. So. Yeah. Oh, Annie. Great time. Can you hear the snoring coming down from Moosey's world? He's already snoring. <laughs> so as soon as I finish this, I'm in my bed with my new backrest, by the way. I don't know whether you remember, I was gabbing away when we, Debbie and I were showing you all the things in the back of her car. And I did buy a very solid, big backrest that was practically brand new. And it is so comfortable in my bed. I do spend a lot of time uh, during the day in my bed. I love to put my feet up when I'm not out in the garden or wherever. And I also, it's a good backrest for me with my iPad because I do all, most of my editing in there too. So after I finish this video, I'm in there with my new backrest and I'll be editing this and hopefully getting this up in the morning for you. But Besides the little visit I wanted to tell you about, I do want to show you something that I picked up for me when I was doing some Mother's Day shopping. <laughs> and I have to show you. I have been in love with a tote. Now, as you know, right now, totes are in. Totes and pedal pushers and various other things. But there is a tote that was a designer bag that I've looked at for a year or two and not in the stores, but in women, mainly in Britain, who carry this. And it's a Loewe department store bag that probably runs, I don't know, anywhere between 10,000, 3,000, 5,000, I don't know. But it's straw and it has a leather pocket in the front and it does have some leather straps here. However, I think I found a Loewe dupe. And I, number one, I love this, what you might call coffee or cocoa color. I am in love with it. The back is plain, but it's a beautiful fabric. It's not, um, it's not straw, but I love the fabric. If you can see it up close, it's a, a beautiful woven, like a canvas. And I like a tote, especially for the summer. And the reason that I love this is that I finally found a color that I have always loved, but I found some trousers and some accessories in this color as well. And I found these, I, I have to iron them and I apologize, but they're beautiful. Uh, they're, they're, I'm gonna call them three quarter trousers. The, I'm gonna use an old fashioned word, but they're still using it, pedal pushers. And they're not giant wide, but they're wide enough to look very, very classy. And uh, they're a little bit above the ankle at the ankle. So if you have a, a neat shoe you wanna show off, 
they're perfect for that. They have a fly in the front. They have pleats in the front of the pants and they are in the back. They have some elastic, which is good for those of us who have lost our waists. Oh, I forgot to tell you about my wonderful late Saturday afternoon couple of hours with Ryan when we were doing our sewing lesson. I tell you to have a couple of hours with one of your older granddaughters, especially when I remember the time I spent with her when she was a little girl so much time. It, it just warms your heart. And I tell you, that girl is going to be one of Nanny's protégés with her, with her sewing. Now, our granddaughter Katie turned out to be a fabulous sewer. I taught her years ago, too. A couple of the other gals, too, but they didn't reach to the heights that they do their own things, but Ryan will. And it was very heartwarming for me. You, as you turn, because it's circular, just do, okay, you got to do the foot thing. Okay. All right. I'm going to guide it back to where it was. Go. Now, see, we're back here. See how I yeah. guided it back? Keep going. Good, good, good. Okay, now if you want to stop and reset. All right, now see how it's, yeah. if it were straight. I it, cut it a little uneven. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're having a yeah. little problem with all that. But push it in, go. Okay, now go. Okay, and I would keep it in that way. Ryan's on her own now. Going great. She's doing a hem. And we're not basting. I'm teaching her to do it the modern way. Look at, she's a pro. <laughs> she's already learned how to thread and do the bobbin. Put the bobbin in the case. Good job, Ray. Little things you have to remember, like threading the needle front to back. Yeah. And by the way, when you put the needle in, when you change your needle, there's a flat side to the very top. I'll show you on one of the needles. So as always, my friends, thank you so much for watching our videos. We just are so appreciative. I say this over and over, but it's so true. And I know that a lot of you are going to our homepage, Nanny and the Moose YouTube, and you're binging on all our other videos too. I love you all. I'm so glad that you're here with us. Hope you all did have a good Mother's Day, by the way. And enjoy the weekend. I know that for the rest of this week, Moosey and I are chilling. Hopefully it will be nice weather. I do have some more herbs that I have to plant in the garden. And it will be restful from here on in until we have a couple more graduations. But that's not till June. So we're, we're going to be in the chilling mode for the next week or so. Bye for now. I love you and God bless us all.